I've recently watched the Queen's Gambit series on Netflix and it really got me impressed, so I've decided to create a self-portrait inspired by this main image. So I'm going to do my makeup first and to prime my skin I'm using the Smoothing Base by Makeup Atelier. I'm applying the foundation followed by the setting powder on just the eyes first. Then I'm using the Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills followed by the Lash Blowout Mascara by It Cosmetics. After I'm done with my eyes, I'm applying the liquid foundation by Makeup Atelier all over my face followed by the contouring stick on my cheekbones and setting powder by Laura Mercier all over my face. I like to define my eyebrows just a little with a defining pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And to finish off the look, I'm using the Sun Dipped Glow Highlighting Kit from Anastasia as well, followed by the Dark Cherry Lipstick from Vanity Beauty by Rihanna. I have a very long hair, and the main character in the movie has a short, bob cut hairstyle, therefore I've decided to braid my hair and put it up in order to make my neckline visible. So guys, for this self-portrait session, I'm going to use the Nikon Trigger Controller. Uh, I'm shooting with Nikon D750 and I'm going to use the 85mm uh, Sigma Art 1.4. Uh, I'm going to use the mirror because uh, always when I shoot self-portraits, I like to see myself so I can uh, pose better, pose myself better. Uh, let me show you the light. So I have this parabolic softbox from Godox and I have the AD600 on it. It's the biggest softbox they have. It allows to diffuse light and make it look like it's a daylight or a natural light. So this is very good. And I positioned it that way so it leads up my face uh, from the top. The next one I have AD400 and this is an octabox. Uh, this one is 80 centimeters and I positioned it almost um, to the side of my body. And um, this is gonna lead the face just a little bit. Um, the backlight, I have the strip box from Godox and I have the 600 on it as well. Since I'm doing a self-portrait session, I need to make sure that the tripod and the camera are positioned properly. So I'm putting the broom in the middle of the chessboard to imitate my body so I can lock the focus on it. Also, I'm putting a book under the tabletop so that the chessboard surface is more visible. I just want to add a little bit of vintage touch to the self-portrait photo shoot. So I'm going to use a white color. I'm going to put it over myself like this. And this is going to change everything for that. The delay for my remote trigger is set for 2 seconds, which allows plenty of time to hide the clicker away after pressing the button. If you are interested in learning about the retouching process for these images, you are welcome to visit my online Fine Art Photography School's website and get the full Photoshop tutorial from there. I will link all the useful information below as well as my gear info. That's it guys, I hope you've enjoyed my self-portrait Queen's Gambit inspired video. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.